All right, glad to have you back on the morning show here on Arise News. Is that time when we review headlines at today's newspaper as the cause we're starting with our sister publication, This Day Newspaper. And the headline says, And SARS IG panics over botched suit against Spanos. Most were that sanction. With a rider, fires notice to discontinue case, may sacrifice his head of legal uh, section. And there you have a picture, farewell to Tola Oyediro. You have uh, the governor for Shu State, Chibisi Akonde, the State uh, Governor of Abajide Shawolu. Uh, this is uh, a funeral service. You have even the vice president and the wife of Mrs. Tola Oyediro Ni Awolowo at the All Saints Church, Jericho Ring Road, Ibado, or your state. This happened yesterday. Yes. At the masthead, we have former Defense Minister Dom Kadbali. He dies at 80. Buhari Mon to the rider, president. Records of Bali's bravery, patriotism will continue to inspire young officers. Get that on page five. And then just in the blue strip there, conflicting court orders as by elections hold in 11 states, the one we're talking about. Indeed. In the 11 states, then one of them is this one. All right. And then just below the logo this day in orange uh, color, insecurity. Governors to meet Buhari want firmer action with a rider pledge support for police reforms. Get that on page five. The one on the elections on page 14 and and the one on answers is is continued on page five this is it for this day femi thank you we're well, moving on to the saturday telegraph and the headline story is the oil majors are under pressure over renewed attacks in the niger delta you can read more on how they uh, discuss uh, security status over the resurgence of assaults on assets and there's also concerns being expressed over the threat to post covid 19 eco economic recovery it goes on to talk about how nigeria loses 1.9 billion dollars to foreign ship owners and also that amnesty is not a panthea for stoppage of militancy. That is a quote from the RNDA. You can read more on what the Sunday Telegraph has to say in the state of Nigeria's security on pages three and four. Just above that, still on the theme of insecurity, we've got a picture of the equity state governor. That is, of course, Kayode Fayemi, who says, again, governors are to meet Buhari and are promising to support police reforms. That's on page five. In terms of COVID-19 vaccines, which we discussed very early on on the show this morning, 44 million Nigerians qualify for COVID-19 vaccines. That is, of course, a quote from the presidential task force. There you can read more on that on page 27. At the top of the Saturday Telegraph, there is uh, an update in the, the case involving Mariam Sander, whose uh, appeal uh, against her death sentence has um, up until this point been unsuccessful. Uh, an appeal court has affirmed uh, so-called husband killer Mariam Sanders' death sentence. Uh, the court remands um, minor, which is a separate story, uh, in prison pending trial. He was, of course, extradited back to Nigeria after fleeing uh, into neighboring Niger, I believe it was. It was Niger. He was... Um, uh, Minor. Yes. Yeah, it was there he was brought back from. Yeah, it was Niger. And, uh, and then, yes, we can move on to our next paper, indeed. All right. Uh, independent. We have Independent here. 23 Presidency. Sunday Independent. Saturday Independent, rather. 20, 2023 Presidency. How far can Omahi go against Carlo Okorocha, who, of course, are Igbos in uh, APC? Find this on 21 with three riders. Is linked with Presidency jolting opponents? APC will overrun PDP in South East if... That is a former governor of Anambra State speaking up there. Ibazo denies the faction plans to APC Ibazo of, of PDP in uh, Abia State. Ademo, U.S. Treasury nominee, the loss of another talent to foreign lands. Well, you can get this on page 15. I think we should be celebrating him. He will get his experience back to Nigeria someday sometime. Uh, we won't allow reckless use of social media. That's coming from Lai Mohammed. And then Femi Kuti on top up just below that. This is 60, this is on page 16. Below that you have Femi Kuti make team up for legacy plus album. Page eight, Domkat Bali, who gave you the story earlier from this day, is on 16. Domkat Buhari Mons, uh, Domkat Bali. And then best of Nollywood Union as Debo Macaroni, Tana Adelana Pilot 2020 Awards Ship. Nine on page nine. Governors to borrow 17 trillion naira from pension fund. This is found on page three. And bleak December as Nigerians groan on the food inflation on page 14.
All right, the next story. Thank you. We're moving on to the Saturday punch. They are, of course, also focusing on the by-elections there. Police have restricted movement in 36 local government areas in Lagos, uh, Imo and Plateau punch. State, in punch. addition to... Yeah. Yeah, he was asking me which paper. You said punch. It is, yeah. indeed, the punch on Saturday. Uh, INEC has deployed 36,223 staff and warned against vote buying. There's confusion in Abuja and a worry as, both, as courts in both areas sack two Imo APC candidates. While violence has erupted in Bayelsa State with three people killed and buildings torched in Zamfara. At the top there, you've got a picture of the Oyo State Governor, Shei Makinde. Uh, he, he buried his mother earlier this week at a funeral that saw um, his APC allies uh, by his side there. And as you rightfully said, uh, on the cover of this day, you do have pictures from the burial of our Lowa's daughter's yeah. uh, um, own ceremony Tola. there. Yeah, mm. Yes, exactly. Uh, to, just to the right of that, at the top there, you've got uh, a two billion naira fraud. Uh, Maina Ndumi, rather, says that he can no longer uh, be minor surety that he is untrustworthy. That is, that's given. I mean, I mean, that's given. He has given. been scared out of his... <laughs> did flee leave you to... 500 <laughs> leave you holding the bag. Dollar bond. He's so just scared out of his... Can't blame him for yeah. that. <laughs> All right. I think we can squeeze in. The Guardian, let's see. Yes, yeah. The headline, uh, farmers, ki farmers killing uh, Bruno IDP's fear return to communities. Find us on page four. Uh, then, of course, that picture about Tola Ojedro, that's the picture you're seeing there. And uh, then... This is the Guardian. Guardian. Yeah, this is the Guardian. On Saturday. Uh, yeah, Guardian Saturday, yeah. Balewa. Nigeria's problem is beyond restructuring. That's at the masthead. Inflation, bleak yuletide looms for Nigerians. And uh, blessing, I mean, don't let obstacles determine who you are, of course not. Nema to Nigerians. Brace up for food, water shortages. Find that on, 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 on News 5, News 5. Court orders, removal of Ararume. For Ibezim in today's by election, that's quite interesting. And um, people, the news 30 people feeding fat from insurgency, says Al Mustafa. Mm, that is a, a bad one. 